This is a major improvement. Uh, I can actually see what my line is going to be in here now before I've even started my maneuver. Uh, if I want to, I can move this around and you can actually see it changing in real time over here, which is really cool. This maneuver node is easy to grab, easy to pull around. I can kind of see I'm going to like smash right into the moon. Now I can see with the persistent uh, uh, parapsis up there what it's going to be like and just kind of fiddle with it to try to get like a really good, there we go, I'm going to come in super hot right there. Uh, we'll see <laughs> if we can do this. You know, I like that. And then if you notice down here, the stop burn timer, it's already popped up. So I know what my stop burn is. Uh, I'm gonna, I've tried this once before uh, in this view, which is uh, map mode. I'm now gonna test the burn timer uh, by starting it here, where I can watch the cool uh, engine exhaust and then switch to map mode and see if that works because that's been a problem in the previous build. So what we'll do is we'll warp to maneuver. Get to watch all of space, of sunset, all this cool stuff. Look at that. I mean, it's just really, really pretty. Look at that sunrise. Love it. Alright, we should be coming in very quickly. Get the craft right at the target. And I like how it shows down here 45 seconds for this total burn. It's going to use about half of my delta V, which means I should have plenty for the capture. Using a stock craft in uh, KSP. I really do like the way the planet looks down here. About 20 seconds here until we launch. I like this crater. A little island in the middle there. 15 seconds. says we're going to impact <laughs> impact the moon. So we may want to do maneuver plan out here. See if that would get us out of the way a little bit. There we go. Now what what is our PE for that? Let's see if we can get that PE to show up. Oh, that was too much. I'm not, I'm not seeing a PE. Oh well. But there's a lot more functionality. <laughs> 